Would you pray with me? <clears throat> Father, we uh, thank you for today. We thank you for your word that is always true and never changes. Thank you that um, your word promises that when two or more are gathered together, you're right there in our midst. And we can definitely count on that today to know that you are here as we worship together. And Father, we would ask that you would uh, speak to our hearts as we uh, hear the message this morning. Pray that you would give George the, the words to say and that we would have the ears to hear. And uh, Father, we thank you for uh, kind of a new beginning. It's funny how we, um, it's just another week, but we, uh, because of the months of the year, we, we look at it as a new beginning. And thank you that we can do that and look at our lives and, and think what are the things that we are holding on to uh, that we need to give to you. Pray that this year that we would do that, that we would give more to you and to see you work uh, through us as we, as we do that. Father, we thank you for the gift that you gave our uh, clothes closet yesterday with 50 boxes of food from Ingalls. We pray that you would give us wisdom and a plan for how you want that given back to the community and that it would be done in a way that meets needs. And, uh, Father, we pray for Kenzie's mom who found out that she has cancer, that you would uh, help them deal with that news and that you would give them um, encouragement as they meet with doctors and they put together a plan to battle uh, that lung cancer. Lord, we pray that as students come back this week and next week that you would give them safe trips. We pray that as families gather uh, back uh, into, the, into the body, that, you would, that we would be encouraged by what we hear of you doing and the things that we see take place uh, in the coming weeks. And Lord, we just lift all of these things up to you. In your son's name, amen.